गुड मॉर्निंग एंड असलम टू ऑल ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ईद मुबारक टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई होप दैट यू इन्जॉय दिस ईद विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड कजन्स एंड अदर रेलेटिव सो हेयर आई एम विद द न्यू लेक्चर आफ्टर द ईद फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट नाउ ऑनवर्ड आई हैव ओनली वन लेक्चर विद यू ऑल so you guys need to be very much punctual do your work on time and we are not going to give you so much homework and uh, what you i can say that you can keep the workbook uh, 2a along with you and now uh, during the lecture you will even solve the questions with me as well i will tell you the pages as well so my dear students now let's move on to our topic of the day that is subtraction that name is subtraction so yes the subtraction is mentioned on the screen and this is just a brainstorming picture brainstorming mean my students you guys did this kind of subtraction in prep class and in grade 1 as well so here i am to ask you a quick subtraction question yes so quickly tell me what will be the answer 8 minus 2 1 2 yes the answer will be 6 okay 5 minus 1 what will be the answer 4 yes Okay, quickly. Six minus four. What will be the answer? Two. Yes, this is just you can say that a baby subtraction. So let's move on your chapter two subtraction without regrouping. Okay, you can read the topic. Without regrouping means you are not going to borrow any number. You will first subtract the ones and then subtract the tens okay so tell me let me get my pen first as you can see on the screen let me get my pen 4 minus 4 what will be the answer yes 0 yes okay 9 minus 1 just count one backward what will be the answer Eight. Yes. Okay. Now, next question. Six minus three. What will be the answer? Take out the six fingers. Close the three. What will be the answer? Yes. Three. Yes. Okay. Now, take out the five fingers. Close the one. What will be the answer? Four. Yes, this is gonna be very very easy subtraction. I know, my students can do this subtraction very easily. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. Okay, this is just a explanation, and you just guys just look at the screen carefully and. understand this method it's also without regrouping means this is easy subtraction yes regrouping means you are not going to borrow any number okay let's read the question subtract 4 from 58 so in the first method what you can do you will go on 58 and take the four jumps like 57 56 55 54 yes we take the four jumps back and what is the answer 54 yes and then in your book they are explaining you another method which is method number 2 subtract ones how 58 so you are just going to subtract 4 out of 8 what will be your answer your answer will be 4 and when we add this 4 into 
your answer will be 54 this method is something that I will say you guys will uh, find it difficult but it's not difficult at all it is also called mental maths but it's your choice whether you subtract with the help of lines whether you subtract with the help of counting back and whether you can use this method making the two pieces of 58 that is 50 and other one is 8 and then simply you subtract 8 minus 4 your answer is 4 uh, now add the answer and you will get the answer 54 see both the questions are same and their answer is same so in maths what you can do it's totally your choice to select the method but the answer should be correct so this is just explanation for all of you and you guys learn it already let's move on to the next slide okay yes now my dear students take out your workbook page number 41 yes page number 41 and these questions are mentioned over here there in your workbook so you are going to solve these questions with me yes now take out the workbook page 41 and solve the questions with me our first question is 383 minus 3 so I am going to tell you a quick method that is subtract ones with ones so what will be the answer 3 minus 3 just subtract what will be the answer 0 yes so write down the 0 over here and the rest of the two numbers will come as it is that is 8 and the other one is 3 yes now in the next question that is 597 minus 30 okay its basic method is first to mention their places what are the places that is ones that is tens then again in this question ones tens and hundred write it down like me on your workbook too okay now subtract ones with ones you can even draw these lines as well when we subtract seven minus zero the answer will be zero no 7 minus 0, 0 means nothing, so the number will be same. 7 will come as it is, 7. Okay, now subtract tens with tens. 9 minus 3. Now take out the 9 fingers and close the 3. What is the answer? Yes, 6. So write down 6. And... The f there is no hundred in this digit so five will come as it is yes now you got the answer easy huh now in this question 665 minus 4 can anybody tell me what will be the answer okay what we can do we can do 5 minus 4 and the answer will be 1 the answer will be 1 so mention 1 over here in the last oh it goes out of the box and the rest of the two numbers will come as it is 6 and 6 see it's easy but you are not going to write this one over here at the one place otherwise your question will go wrong okay be very very sure about the placement of the digits why once come always at the right side so mention one over here 
and then the rest of the two digits 6 6 will come as it is okay the next question is read it and solve it before me even I'm sure you all can do it by yourself so the question is 841 minus 40 okay I'm sure my brilliant students can do it even before me so without any mistake mention ones tens ones and then tens mention their places and then hundred so first of all subtract ones with ones one minus zero what will be the answer is it zero no one minus zero answer is one okay four minus four answer is zero yes and now eight is the number that will come as it is see how much easy it is it is called a quick and a kind of direct method which my students can do easily I'm sure okay the next one is very interesting I'm sure you all will like it okay we have question 925 minus 200 okay so just mention their places ones tens hundred and again over here ones tens and hundred yes okay so zero means nothing five minus zero the answer is five okay don't laugh on my writing okay I'm writing with the pointer two minus zero the answer is two okay and nine minus two hundred minus hundred so you will subtract nine is at the hundred place two is at the hundred place so nine minus two the answer will be what will be the answer seven yes seven hundred and twenty five is your answer got it I'm sure you all solve these questions with me and now next move to the next classwork okay now my dear students take out your workbook page number 43 and question number six okay this is just like the same we did in the previous slide but uh, I am trying to help you and to cover this part with me so let's solve the questions okay there is a only one digit over here it's one's place so six minus four what will be the answer hmm? is it three no it's two okay I mentioned the two and the rest of the two numbers will come as it is yes see it's easy now it's only four you are going to subtract only seven minus four what will be the answer three yes and the rest of the numbers will come as it is that is five and eight yes you can also do it by counting back but the counting back will be difficult when you subtract 635 minus 20 it's difficult to take 20 steps backward so what you gonna do you will follow my method it mentions the places that is at the hum ones tens once it's uh, my mouse is bit you know it's very very you know that not clear once uh, let me just draw this once again ones and tens so subtract five out of zero the answer will be zero no 
5 minus 0, the answer is 5. Yes, think. Think before you write. 3 minus 2, the answer will be, the answer will be 1. Mention the 1. And 6 will come as it is. Don't laugh on my writing, okay? Don't laugh on my writing that ma'am writing is not good. It's just because that I am writing with the help of this mouse. Okay, the part D you will solve by yourself, my dear students. Do it and I'm sure you all can do it and uh, I'm not doing it 3 minus 0 the answer will be 3 and then 3 minus 3 answer will be 0 and 3 will come as it is so I'm going to solve part E for you and meanwhile what you can do you are just going to solve this part D by yourself let me mention the places once tens hundred yes then again ones tens and hundred okay I'm just trying to help you out okay if there is zero in any place the number will not change so I am going to write down 68 as it is 7 minus 3, what will be the answer? The answer will be 4. Yes. Yes. And now part F, that is also very easy because it has two zeros. So the value will not be changed. 10 will come as it is. And my dear students, 9 minus 4, the answer will be Five. Yes, you will learn these all things with the help of practice. So you all are going to solve these questions and you will do the practice my students and then you can solve it. Okay, this is the page number 44 that you are going to take out and let me help you these two parts are mentioned on the top of the page part c and part d and uh, it's a and b part is your R R A. so in this uh, page i will explain you how to mention the numbers at their places so it's easy read the number that is 826 so mention the numbers always from the one side or you can say that it is something that you will not do any mistake so always mention the number from the back side and do check your numbers before writing that is 6 2 and 8 and check your number after writing is it the same number yes now write down the second number with me 3 1 and 1 check your numbers check your numbers my students before going to uh, after writing it now subtract minus means just to cut take out the 6 fingers and close the 3 what will be the answer 3 yes 2 minus 1 it's a baby answer 1 yes and 8 minus 1 just take one step back that is 7 yes now I'm going to mention the same question over here as I told you to avoid the mistake mention the numbers from the first side or whether from the back side but if you mention the number from the back side you will not do the mistakes when you will have two digits number at the second places that I will explain you in my next lectures too so I'm just helping you to make the habit and solve the writing I always write the questions from the back side 7 6 and 6 Okay, don't laugh on my writing. I'm writing with the help of pointer. 
and next digit that is 634 so 4 3 and 6 yes now you will solve my dear students by yourself I am not solving it for you because I know you all are brilliant 7 minus 4 answer will be 3 6 minus 3 answer is 3 and 6 minus 6 answer is 0 yes I tell you the answers now you will fill it easily okay now this is the same page 44 but the question number is 8 and this question is bit different because they tell you that write the number by yourself in the working column and solve it so that's why I will I select this question now you all are going to learn that how to write the numbers independently the first number is 659 so write it down in the working column in a neat style 600 give a space 5 and then 9 you said that ma'am why you are not writing from the back side I told you my students it's totally your choice but writing the number from the back side will always help you how you will see it 228 so let's start it to avoid the mistake I am starting from the back side not from 2 that is 8 8 2 and 2 then you will use a scale and you will draw the line neatly over here now the question is perfectly uh, written over here and now you can easily solve it 9 minus 8 answer is 1 now take out the 5 fingers and close the 2 what is the answer 3 and 6 minus 2 what is the answer 4 so my students now you can copy this answer over here that is 431 yes and in the same style you are, are going to solve and write this question over here look at the number carefully you are not going to write any wrong number and what you can do you will check your numbers again and again after writing it now write it down 548 yes perfectly next number is I'm going to writing it from the back side to avoid the mistake 5 2 1 and now solve it 5 minus 8 minus 5 the answer is 3 4 minus 2 answer is 2 and 5 minus 1 the answer is 4 so now this is your answer that you can write over here with me 432 yes now you have done a lot of questions with me and I'm sure okay now our today's work is done and it's time to sing a song you guys must be surprised that why ma'am is saying that sing a song you are going to learn this song and in the next lecture this song will help you a lot so let's sing a song read with me okay where is my pointer read with me more on the top do not no need to stop again read the song more on the top no need to stop more on the floor go next door get some more why we are going to the next door we are going to next door because we need to borrow the number which you guys have also an idea so first just sing this song and learn it because this song is going to help you a lot in the next lecture and the next lecture we will sing the song and we will solve the questions 
more on the top no need to stop more on the floor go next door get some more why because we can't subtract 6 out of 8 so we need to go to the next door yes i will explain you in detail but just this time you are going to sing the song only again re read the song sing the song with me more on the top no need to stop more on the floor go next door get some more so that's the song that you are going to sing again and again and this is your homework uh, you solve these three pages with me but there are few parts which are not done so do these pages complete these pages by yourself and in the page number 43 you are going to do only question number six and seven okay that's the assignment uh, till then the next lecture bye bye take care all of you miss you